Hello everyone, this is Kat Snevens and welcome to last week's news today. Lots of news this week, so we are going to just get started. Our format will be a little different because it was a live stream week and we have a lot to cover. We knew Extra Life was going to be held on the 5th of November, but boy, there is more. In addition to the 24 hour live stream, there will be a pregame session on Friday the 4th, starting from 6 p.m. Pacific time. The main 24 hour live tabletop pen and paper game set in the world of Ashes of Creation will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time on November 5th. You'll be able to influence the game with your donations and there will be some fun donation milestones such as Alpha 2 giveaways and Ashes of creation information unlock. Steven hinted the scope of the campaign from a story perspective is to be driven by one of the major points of interest and that is near one of the divine gateways on Vera. So this gives some insight in some of the quests that are involved with that particular point of interest. The Tower of Carfin. We talked about this in our Ranger video. We will provide the links below if you want to find out more. There is also a link on the forum or time conversion. And my cat Bowser wanted me to show you guys early on how he is with the new kittens. So here he is. <laughs> Ain't he the sweetest? Anyway, before we start on the live stream update, we got a little extra information to cover. We got some info about relics. Just to help understand the answer, relics are embodiments of certain types of achievements of a node that unlock over time and are stored in the node's reliquary, reliquary? which will have limited access after a node is destroyed by a siege. A question from Discord asks, can relics be bought and sold after looting them in node ruins? Steven replied, looting a relic from the node will create a shard of the relic, which can be used in recipes for certain crafted items, enchantments, or the shard can be consumed for a single use buff that reflects the original relic's purpose and they can be traded as well. Now for those involved in the server merging discussion, we wanted to highlight that Intrepid have acknowledged the conversation and although they hope this isn't something they'll need to do, they will take feedback into consideration before moving forward with any plans. This week, we are going to highlight the major points from the live stream while showing a side-by-side -side comparison of gathering, but for an in-depth breakdown. Rive Genesis has made a fantastic video and is really worth a watch. Great job, Rive! First and foremost, Steven talked about PvP and griefing to emphasize that the corruption system is being designed to mitigate griefing in the open world and will be adjusted as necessary once testing begins. Its goal is to prevent griefing, but not to eliminate risk. Risk versus reward is one of the five main design pillars of AOC, and Intrepid will not be changing the core design. Good. I've been playing PvE games for a very long time, pretty much since after Star Wars Galaxies went down the crapper, so I'm looking forward to something different and rewarding than typical theme park games. I hope that was more enjoyable than listening to me go on about it. We'll link the gathering video update in the description below with the feedback forum thread. They will be compiling a report for the design team on Friday, November 11th, 2022. If you want more details, ask in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Next up is some character art, starting with the Skeleton Warrior, which may appear in the Extra Life Pathfinder campaign. Kinda cool looking. And then we have a series of bandit mobs who I'm assume we're gonna be kicking their butts early on in our Ashes career. Or wait, maybe after a couple villages are set up because who would they be robbing before then? <laughs> and some basic equipment, which they said we might be seeing in a very, very near future stream. Mm -hmm. Cleric, perhaps? There wasn't any significant news from the Q&A, but if you are interested in catching up with it, please go check out the video by Rive. If you asked a question on the forums, but it wasn't answered during the live stream, Vaknar has answered all the additional questions. We'll pop that link in the description below. 
Finally, we're going to end with Fan Art Friday, a final stand, a personal favorite situation of mine by Czar. It looks great. Good job. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.